In this video, I'm going to take you through as far as going and actually exporting a video from Unreal. So what I have here is I have a short little sequence where the camera follows an object in the scene. So let's say that's my entire project and I'm ready to actually export the video. I don't really need to have any player interaction. I'm using Unreal more from a cinematic standpoint. With that, I can then come under the sequencer and I've been working here as far as setting up cameras, tying in the cylinder, but there's also next to the camera icon, there's the option to render the movie. Now, because I have so few frames, I'm only working with 165, I am going to render out a movie. But let me go ahead and click here to open up your render movie settings and I'm actually gonna expand this out so you can see the window a little bit better. Yes, by default, Unreal wants to output a video sequence, an AVI. Um, for this size, again, 165, you could probably get away with that. However, I do want to click on the drop down just to show folks, you do have the option of doing image sequences if you prefer, especially in longer videos. I'd strongly encourage going to the image sequence route and then re-putting the sequences together in something like DaVinci Resolve or Premiere. For this little demo, I'm going to use the AVI. Now, yes, you can bring in audio if you so choose, such as effects or video, but if you're looking at just having um, background music and you don't really care as far as syncing it up or anything like that, I'd actually leave the audio out and then, again, go into something like DaVinci or Premiere and add the audio file that way and then do another re-export. You can change as far as your resolution. For demo and time's sake, I am going to just keep this at the smallest size, the 640 by 480, but you can click on the drop down and you can go to a larger screen video screen resolution. Now here is a part as far as the output directories that you may want to pay attention to. By default, right now I'm working in a project called Import Demo. And again, if you come up to the upper right hand side, you can make sure and see which project folder you're currently working in. And what Unreal likes to do is it will, it has a save folder, but it also has a video capture folder within that project. This is a fine place that if you don't want to have to navigate or worry about, oh, will I break my project or will I break my video? Yes, uh, you should be able to navigate to where your project folder is located and pull up the file out of the video capture folder. However, from a time sake standpoint, if you're like, you know what, I really want to just get it up on YouTube or I want to share it with my friends, you can choose a different directory. A word of caution on this, though, and I'll go ahead and demonstrate this. By default, you may say, you know what, I just want to select my desktop and I'm just going to save the video there. So I select my desktop and I go ahead and tell it to capture the movie. But notice I get an output here. Unreal considers the desktop to be a read-only environment. So if you want to use your desktop, that's fine. But what you're going to have to do then is make a new folder, and maybe I call this just Unreal Movies, and select that folder as my output, and then tell it to capture my movie. So you saw the preview pop up in the corner there. And now if I go ahead and minimize Unreal. Here's my folder, and if I double click, there's my AVI video as far as the playthrough is concerned. So I have about four seconds worth of animation there. And now this video can stand independently from the Unreal project. So you could take it into Premiere, you could take it into After Effects, you could take it into DaVinci, or you could even just upload it to YouTube. And that's exporting a video from the sequencer in Unreal. 